First up, ladies and gentlemen, the violence and the unrest that is coming out of Manipur. At this point in time, amidst the ongoing escalation of violence in Manipur, in which at least nine people have been killed since the 1st of September, with foothill villages in the valley being attacked, with improvised rockets and bombs being dropped from drones. The Manipur chief minister has met with the governor for the second time in a span of 24 hours and submitted a list of demands. Now, this is the second meeting, like I mentioned, with the governor in the last 24 hours. And it seems the Manipur chief minister has sought the control of the unified command to end the violence. Now, with the NBA Singh government demanding control of the unified command that oversees security operations in the northeastern state, it also does point at a possible tussle between the center and the BGP dispensation in Manipur. The command is currently handled by the team of Union Home Ministry officials, the state security advisor and the army. Let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen, the BGP-led government in Manipur also includes MLAs from the Naga People's Front, National People's Party and the Janata Dal United. 24 legislators, including six cabinet ministers, attended the meeting last evening as well. Now, why is all of this happening? Well, that's because police teams and additional security forces, they were all rushed to conduct combing operations in the hill ranges and adjoining areas. Bunkers at Mualsang and Laika Mualsu villages were completely destroyed. And the police teams of Bishnupur district, including the SP, rushed to the area in which they were fired upon by suspected cookie militants. But the police team retaliated robustly and repelled the attack. Military choppers have been deployed to conduct aerial patrolling along the anti-drone systems that have been put in place. Senior officers of the police, including IGP and DIGP, were at the spot to take immediate countermeasures and supervise the volatile situation. High-level security, mind you, and the meetings have been conducted to take stock of the law and order situation. Listen in to what the IGP intelligence had to say first. There was a report of one Baspati Mayum Lakhi Kumar Sarma, 41 year old of Dibong Kunong, Jiribam. He got killed. And later, while searching in the general area where the firing took place, there are three dead bodies of the miscreants are found. The details of the exact miscreants are yet to be ascertained. Due to these last few days frequent incidents, state police is reviewing the security situation and deployment very closely with the help of other forces. Now the senior officers are deployed on the ground, even our ADG, IG, they are deployed on the ground in Bishnupur and in Jiribam and in Imphal. Due to the the rogue drones which have created the recent attack in the September 1, a very good anti-drone system is deployed that is in action. State policies in the process of purchasing more anti-drone systems and rogue, rogue, drone, sorry, rogue drone guns, the anti-drone guns in simply to say. There is an army chopper that is doing the patrolling. We have deployed additional forces in some vulnerable areas. There is a deployment of sophisticated arms and that is under training and in the process of purchase also to counter the long range attacks. We have activified our social media monitoring cell particularly to check the instigators of violence in the social media, we have found that there are some instigators who don't come on the ground per se, but they instigate the people, they play with the emotions of the public from both the sides and make the public into mob to go for arms loot or to create a lawlessness. While well, authorities are closely monitoring the situation and the police are prepared to respond to any contingency that may arise. Just on Saturday, at least five people were killed after a gun battle erupted between two armed groups following the killing of an elderly Methi man in Manipur's Jiribam district. A contact shooting that took place. Cookie militants had deployed long-range rockets among the civilian population in two locations of Bishnupur district, in one of which one senior citizen civilian expired and six other civilians were injured. This in Bishnupur district. For a better understanding, I spoke 
to my colleague and deputy managing editor of News 9 Live, Karthike Sharma. Listen into this conversation real quick. My understanding of the situation, Kabir, is that uh, Birin Singh wants simultaneous operations in both hill and valley areas. If you recall what had happened in the last 78 hours, first drones were sighted, drone attack took place. Impact explosives were drawn from the, dropped from the drones. The second thing that happened was a long-range rocket missile was actually fired from hill area to uh, the valley, which traveled uh, somewhere between 7 to 5 kilometers and uh, targeted the residence of a former chief minister. Now, missile technically is a rocket with a positioning system, or sort of guiding system. But the fact is that they were able to target a house six kilometers away uh, informs us that there is some sophistication in this business that the cookie militants have acquired. So that's number two. And now what has happened is that schools have been closed and there was violence in Jiribam in which contact killing has taken place. Hmm. That hmm. is even worse because if the contact killing is taking place, it tells you that the, the area is not dominated by police, that it allows people, militias to move freely. So the three events have happened simultaneously. They are not connected, but they are also not disconnected in the story of violence. They are not connected in the sense, obviously, they are not happening in one theater command, hmm. but hmm. they are telling us what is happening in Manipur. There are troops, there are central security forces, Kabir, in uh, hill areas. But the problem is, how do you comb those uh, hill areas? You have weapons in the valley, which have been pilfered away, but the combing has not taken place. So this has become the real challenge. First of all, what really needs to be done is that the hills need to be combed because three things have happened there. Hmm. You, the drug cultivation has fueled ammunition buying spree. Secondly, new immigrants have come. They have no connection with the, uh, you know, uh, the so-called uh, Indian state because they are illegal immigrants. They are illegal immigrants. And when I use the word illegal immigrants, it, it's, it, they have crossed over. And they have crossed over. Why? Because they have instability in Myanmar. And thirdly, they have been incorporated in the village setup. They have become part and parcel of the society. Whereas in context of state, they don't exist. So it has become pretty complicated. Now, what is really required, is, Kabir, is some sort of a unified action that took place in Srinagar, uh, hmm. Jammu hmm. in Kashmir, hmm. or during Operation Rairo in Assam. Because this is, this is exactly... A, it's like saying that the forces are there, but they are not controlling the area. The other actors are in control. That is why there is a reaction, anti-drone system, other things are there. But it has completely, Kabir, changed the dynamic of the war in Manipur.